Michael Myers is one of the scariest horror icons of all time. From normal sized creep to hobo in a pro wrestler's body, let's start from the beginning. Michael first appears as a murderous blonde boy wearing a clown costume. He's sent to a mental institution, and 15 years later, he breaks out and dons the iconic blue jumpsuit and a Captain Kirk mask, painted white with dark hair. He goes on a bloody massacre and is then shot multiple times and falls off a balcony. In Halloween 2, taking place within the same night, Michael Myers is somehow stockier. His mask is yellowed and now has reddish hair. He sets out to kill the surviving victim from the last film, who happens to be his sister. She shoots him in the eyes, and he's set on fire. Michael does not appear in Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, so on to the next film. In Return of Michael Myers, Michael awakens from a coma covered in bandages. He's taller, bulkier, and finds a greasy blue jumpsuit and a new mask to wear, then features a shocked expression and slicked orangish hair that briefly turns blonde. After learning of his sister's death, he instead hunts his niece, but is shot and falls down a well. In The Revenge of Michael Myers, he is nursed back to health by a hermit. His mask is elongated with hair that's grown out. Once again, he searches for his niece, but he's put in jail and breaks out soon after. The Curse of Michael Myers features a more classic-looking mask. His jumpsuit has also been slightly updated. In this film, it is insisted that Michael needs to kill his family because of a voodoo-type curse. Yet again, he hunts down his family members, but this time he's tranquilized to sleep. Ignoring the plots of movies 3 through 6, in Halloween H2O, Michael is looking for a sister again. He switches between a variety of masks, settling on one with frizzier hair and eagerly revealing eye holes. He's sliced to death by his sister. In Halloween Resurrection, it's revealed Michael faked his own death. His mask is similar to the original, but with the addition of very noticeable makeup. This time, he manages to kill his sister, but later on is electrocuted and presumed dead. Or is he? <laughs> but that doesn't matter, as the films were rebooted in 2007. In the reboot, Michael is again introduced as a murderous blonde boy, but when fully grown, appears to be built like a hulking dump truck. He eventually dons a receipt jumpsuit and the near original but much dirtier mask. In the reboot sequel, the mask is falling apart and Michael is donning new hobo-esque attire. With the latest sequel reboot coming, we can only hope that Michael will return to his roots and sport a more vintage look.